I'm with Coach Hayes down here on the sideline. Coach, first game as head coach, first XFL game. How do you feel with the squad? Hey, felt great, especially against one of the guy that brought me into coaching, Bob Simpson. He's a hell of a coach. He's got a hell of a team. But I'm just happy we came out on top. What did you like from Tuamu today? I liked it, his voice. I love his voice, and he showed it. Hey, don't rub it in his face too much, Coach. I'll tell you what, two men have a lot of respect for each other. Great game down here in Dallas. The Battle Hawks just had a great game plan until Amu showed up. And the surprise of the weekend that St. Louis is able to come on the road as nine and a half point underdogs and take down Dallas. Uh, if you're looking for positives for this Dallas team, Andrew Jones will be in action next week against Los Angeles. And Joey, seemingly this offense will look better with more of a deep threat with his arm. Yeah, I think you like what Philip Nelson did there for a while in the first three quarters. Uh, it was fine, taking the underneath throws, getting some first downs, moving the ball, didn't get a lot of points out of it. But it's in the fourth, when you need to go downfield, that's when you're in trouble when you're playing that kind of offense. And so Jonathan Hayes able to put together a 15 to 9 victory. St. Louis will stay on the road. They go to Houston next weekend. Jordan Tamu, the winning quarterback, saying about Pat. Oos, it felt like you really hit a rhythm whenever you popped that long run. This second half was a completely different offense for you guys. What did you see out there? Um, I just saw that they could they gave us the run all game and uh, showed in the yards that the running backs did that started with the old line. And our receivers helped out a lot with just the outside screens and uh, just giving just taking what they give us and just that, that's basically it. You're 22 years old. This is your first professional ball. In early, was there any jitters? You felt pretty comfortable from the jump. Yeah, I was, uh, I was nervous, but at the same time excited, more excited uh, just to be able to play again and with the XFL. So uh, this is the first year of many more years to come and first game of many more games. So I'm uh, excited and blessed. What's Coach Hayes like as a head coach? What was his message at halftime and how is this going to contribute or continue throughout the entire season? Now, coach Hayes is a wonderful coach. Uh, he knows what he wants, knows what he needs. And uh, he told us at halftime, hey, we got to Keep, go, keep doing what we're doing. Defense makes plays and offense. Uh, just keep driving and keep keep running down the throat. And uh, that's basically what we did. Uh, started with the old line. Like I said, they, they did a wonderful job tonight. Incredible fade. Incredible game. <laughs> Congrats to you, young man. We can't wait to watch you this season. Tayamu had a massive game today. Put the team on his back on numerous occasions. Terrence Garvin here, former NFLer, played his ass off on the defensive side of the ball. Tom, this Battlehawks team. Nine and a half point underdogs come away with a massive win in Dallas. Now you mentioned the fade. Jordan Ta'amu's hair looks better than when he got it shaved at the Mexico Military College. And his game, Joey, has progressed. He can now say he's a professional quarterback. He's got a start under his belt. And he's got a W under his belt. You can see he settled into this game. The, the couple throws he made in the fourth quarter for the touchdown, uh, the, the Y out that they hit, were throws that are big time on the money, on time more importantly, and it started with the run. When you take an athletic quarterback like Tom, when he makes big plays with his feet, all of a sudden they feel comfortable and you can see the throws get better. 15 to nine, maybe not as much offense as the folks at Caesars had in mind, but enough for Joe Tom and St. Louis to win this road game. You see this throw down the field to the outside. Go straight. Throw the receiver to his outside shoulder so the defensive back can't get to it. It's a great throw to the sideline. And then stepping up, taking off running, and watch the speed. He gets a first down, moving the chains. And again, this is a play call for a quarterback run. And it is just a foot race. Gets him inside the 10-yard line. Paid this off. What a great throw to the slant to Russell, who's 6'4". Throws it up in the air, gets the foot in bounds. And St. Louis's offense, especially in that fourth quarter, was completely different. So if St. Louis wants to get off to a great start in this league, they'll have to win on the road. They go to Houston next, but couldn't ask for a better start than that. Bob Stoops returns after three years away from this game. And how Mummy's air raid offense, they had the air taken out of them. How can they improve? Well, when we talk to this coaching staff, and they talk about Landry Jones and what he brings to the table. They're very excited he'll play next week. And I think this offense is going to look completely different. Philip Nelson completed a lot of balls, but not for much yardage. Look for Landry Jones to go downfield next week. What did we learn about the league as a whole? And what did we learn about some of the things that we're going to need to know when it comes to game planning in this league with the new rules and the clock situation? 
one thing we know is they're going to hit. These guys are hitting a lot, so you see that, and that's part of football. But the other thing is when you talk about some of the things they do with going for one, two, or three after games and, and how that plays in toward the end of the game there, we're seeing a team trying to run the clock out. And, and Pat told us you got to get to 115 with four plays to run it out. And so they had to punt the ball. So there's a lot of timing things and, and going for extra points that are playing to the strategy of this game. Mizzou made LaDamian Washington with a great showing for his home state team. And the odds look like this coming into the season. Dallas, the favorites to win the XFL championship at 5-2. to two. St. Louis at 6-1 to one alongside D.C. But the Battlehawks certainly look a lot better. So Dallas and Tampa Bay, the two favorites, both took losses today. The home team uh, this weekend, I should say, and that was today. The home teams go three and one. What a fantastic opening weekend of XFL football throughout the country. Next Sunday, our crew will come your way Sunday at 3 o'clock on ABC. When Dallas looks to get off the schneid, they go out west to take on the Wildcats. For Joey Galloway, Pat McAfee, our sensational XFL on ESPN crew, I'm Tom Hart. Coming up next year on ESPN, The Undefeated presents the year of the black quarterback. So long from Arlington. You know, when you tell me that I can't do something,